wanted to show you guys what my total came out to be. It's That's good, crazy. right? Yeah. See, you can't tell me you don't get PTSD. How much time to be at Walmart? If you're Hispanic, you know what I'm talking about. I gotta go, so así vamos a empezar el video de hoy. But we can't forget the lotion, we don't want our feet to be ashy. <laughs> My little ice chais from the Blanca Time Simply Fashion Collection. And then this is the perfume that I'm gonna wear today, which is very fitting with today's video. I did lose a tapadera, but this is Rare Gold from Avon, bitch. Avon. That's like hella throwback, but this is my all-time favorite yep. scent. I am so excited about this damn video. As you can tell by the title, it is going to be the first episode or first video of my new series, which is the Senora series, or how to be a Senora series. I still don't know which one, but you guys will see in the title. But I thought of this a few vlogs ago, and I've been wanting to start for so long, but I wanted it to start to where it made sense, like chronological order, like when you find a partner, and then you get married, and then you have kids. But honestly, um, let's be real, none of that ever happens how you want it to happen. One day to the next, you wake up and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm a senora. And feel free, if you're a senora and you have any tips or comments, or if you're a girl and you need help, you need advice, or kids, just whatever the whole senora life entails, leave it in the comments. My hand was getting tired. I have no idea where my tripod is, so we're gonna improvise. Like I was saying, I really want this series to help everybody. It doesn't matter what level of senora you are. If you're 15 or you're 55, I feel like we can all learn from each other and share tips and help each other grow and save money and you know build that little online community around being a senora because being a senora doesn't mean you're 45 and you have five kids and you don't work you know senoras nowadays come in all shapes sizes ages races freaking everything now that we got the whole introduction to this little series out of the way let me tell you what we're gonna do in today's video so coincidentally i am out of groceries like i'm out of that grocery where the fridge is empty there's no snacks you need cereal you need shampoo you need a little bit of everything this is perfect timing because i'm gonna take the opportunity to kind of break things down in little sections or segments if you didn't know my mom did own a lonchera and she still now sells food so my mom really has been through all of Denver in terms of looking for good food, good prices, good quality. With all of that, my mom has found a fruteria or like a produce shop. Yeah, a produce shop or produce store. And they're supposed to be organic and really affordable. And that's what I'm gonna stock up in this video is just like fruits and vegetables. For one, they don't sell meat, but with meat, you wanna go to carnicerias or you wanna shop around at different prices for different certain things. Today, we're just gonna stick to fruits and veggies because that's desperately what I need. My kids, my kids can fuck up some fruit. I hope that I can film there. If I can, I will bring you guys along. If not, I'll like sneak with my phone. We'll see. Fingers crossed because I really want to be able to talk through what I'm doing, what I'm looking for, how I pick certain fruits and all that good stuff. Mind you though, I am not an expert. This is just kind of how I've done it, how my mom taught me. And my mom is hella senora because she came from for real school. So if you haven't subscribed or hit the little bell notification, do that right now because this series is on and popping and you guys do not want to miss. You guys do not want to miss any of the future videos. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> you know what I just thought about? Because this is a Senora series, I feel like we should have one Senora song every video just for the vibes. Especially because whenever you think of a Senora, you think of someone waking up early on a weekend cleaning and they're blasting these specific songs. If you're Hispanic, you know what I'm talking about. I'll start, but if you guys have a song that you guys like or reminds you of your mom or your grandma, let me know in the comments so that I could feature it in here. I should have asked my mom because... <laughs> I can't pick. You know what? I'm not gonna give it too much thought. I think I'm just gonna go with Conjunto Primavera. See, you can't tell me you don't get PTSD. You're about to get up and start cleaning before your mom comes in. <laughs> oh, we made it. This one is called Alpine Summit Sales Inc. Produce Company. Before I get off, I want to let you guys know a couple of things because, again, this is about, like, tips and advice. And with that being said, I know this one is in Colorado, and if you guys are out of state, I would encourage you to Google bodegas or bodegas de frutas or produce shops. They're different than groceries, just like your regular Walmart, your regular Target, and these tend to have things that are fresher 
for less price. I feel like this is so underrated and I've never seen anybody talk about it. Well, clearly I haven't either. I've told you guys this in the past. I like to shop through online or get my groceries delivered. But for the sake of saving money, budgeting, and just getting the most out of your money, especially in this economy, this is such a good route. But again, you definitely want to shop around and see what has sales, what has deals. That's literally tip 101 when you're shopping as a senora. You can't shop everything at once. It might take you longer, but in the long run, it might be worth it. a little summary of what my little shopping trip was like mind you i have never been there without my mom no matter the age that you are you just feel like smaller if that makes sense like when i'm with my mom even though i'm 30 31 when i'm with my mom i'm like oh yeah she's got it like they'll talk to her and it's like more nerve-wracking when you're the one in charge and you're the one with the carrito i don't know how to explain it i don't know if i'm making sense but compared to like walmart or target like those huge super centers like nobody gives a fuck like what you're doing because like it's so big everybody just whatever but those little bodegas those little stores are so small it was really awkwardly quiet and it felt like if i talked or said anything like everybody was gonna turn and look at me or like i was gonna get in trouble i don't know the vibes the atmosphere was a little weird i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> this literally has nothing to do with like the money or the savings or the grocery shopping but i if you're from here i just want you to know like what you might step into there's a guy literally peeing in front of me in the tree from my store anyways back to back to this produce i obviously couldn't remember like the walmart prices or target prices off the top of my head but just from seeing it i i can say that it was more affordable i also liked how they had already picked little bags so you don't have to go and pick through each one they already had like a little bag and for me i just picked the one that looked the best which means you also didn't have to weigh anything and i think that's a plus because you really know what you're paying for versus you think you have a pound and then you come out with like a pound and a half so this way it is a lot easier to keep track of how much you're spending and i guess your budget another thing that i think i recorded was the tomatillos they had a bag of already like cleaned ones why well, i want i don't want to say clean but um what is it called they had a bag of already peeled tomatillos i thought that was cool for me i hate peeling tomatillos so i took the one that didn't have it i don't know <laughs> i know i said only fruits and veggies but they had snacks they had chips they had teas they have condiments a whole bunch of stuff and i came across a wall that had chile de arbol and chile cuajillo which i've been out of so i just threw it in there i want to just show you guys what my total came out to be for everything that i got it came out to be 24 dollars and 30 cents so there is my receipt. Yeah, when I get home or when I get back to the store, I will give you guys a little haul of everything that I got because I got three bags full worth. So I think $25 is really, really good. Moving on, since we are talking about saving and shopping around to get the best deals, in my case, Target is super close to my store. So I'm always shopping here. And I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see it. They had 40% off the 12 packs of cokes or sodas you had to buy three or more regularly each coke is seven dollars and 49 cents i got each coke for four dollars and six cents four dollars and six cents when they're normally 7.49 so this is why having those rewards and apps is really good i know target has a stigma around being more expensive being the bougie place you guys need to apply for a target circle i will leave links and more information below so you guys can sign up if you'd like but the one where you just put your number in and you get savings that if you guys don't do that you need to do that right now so pause again go to my description and sign up and get all that stuff because you need to get all your savings and for me because i do have the target red card 
I always also get 5% off my purchases. So I want you guys to see all of that combined. I ended up getting three packs of Cokes for I think like $12. So drinks are covered and Frodo's it and produce hey okay. produce is covered okay we finally made it back home it is now what like me 9 40 uh, almost 10 almost 10 it's late but i didn't want to 10 16 okay well 10 16 but i didn't want to go to sleep without showing you guys the whole haul i'm gonna just take it out and then we'll do like a quick over overview that's about like a dollar three dollars yeah okay so uh, here is the the yeah. overview Honestly, all of this for $24. It's That's good, crazy. right? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. So we got carrots. These, I think, were $1.50 or $1 for both. I think this was probably the most expensive thing. And I think this was like $3, which is not bad because these bags are like five or six bucks. I don't know. This little banana bundle. These tomatoes were the only ones that they had. But I feel like I've seen these at Walmart. Yeah. I can't remember how much they are. The Roman ones yeah but here they were a dollar each so that's why i ended up getting two this was a dollar fifty this obviously was a dollar that's a lot of chile de the chile cuajillo which i double checked with my mom and she said that the cuajillo in new mexico slash california it's all the same so i could have saved a dollar but it's okay <laughs> a dollar as well this is a lot of serranos huh this was also a dollar fifty i think this little bag i remember was two dollars <laughs> Normally, two yeah, two bucks for all of these. Because normally, one is tres por un dólar. So, all of these for two bucks is not bad at all. So, well, yes, we're two for a dollar. This is what I was shook about because these are organic honey crisp apples. It was two dollars for the bag. And then pears. These pears were also two dollars. Then you guys saw the that. Chiraquiles enchiladas para la sopa. The fruit for the kids cilantro para una salsa en the chiles para la salsa de cebolla con esto ya se armó I know, you know what? It's gonna take me forever but I almost want to put all of this stuff in my Walmart app and see how much it would be just so you could get an idea because para salir de dudas, you know? but overall that's my haul again, $24 for all this stuff let me know what you guys think you guys get the point anyways, let me do the math and then I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see the difference